Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a flip through of the Ink House by Rory Dobner. All my finished pages. <laughs> I have finished this book. Every page in here has got at least a portion of it in Distress Ink. Some pages were done with a little bit of um, ink tents. So that is the most part of all the um, pictures. And then there's a little tiny bit of Posca and pencil work just for shading. So the ink house is done in ink. <laughs> First page. Um, unfortunately, I tried to film me doing this one, but the uh, video was corrupt and I could not get it to load onto my computer but it's done in the browns that I normally use on any animal. Um, that would be gathered twigs, a vintage photo, walnut brown, those colors in here. This is uh, also done with scattered straw down here. The pencil work on this was done with some orange and yellow, so like a canary yellow and like a orangish red color and this color here would be like a pumpkinish color. But the rest of that is all done in um, Distress Ink. Sorry about that. Every other page in here should be a video. And if you go to my channel and go up to the little um, magnifying glass, type in the ink house, you'll get the playlist for all of the videos. So, yeah, spiral staircase and the ink bottle. Then you get into the book. This one I believe I did in ink tents. It's a, you'll see the wrinkled pages. I don't mind the wrinkled pages. If you are bothered by that, you can get a little craft iron and iron them flat. But I don't mind them at all. <laughs> Here is the front of the house, the entrance, and it has a little story that goes along with it. Welcome to the ink house. A mysterious mansion built long ago in the days when people used gallon, gallons of ink to write love letters and poems. And you can read the, the whole thing here. <laughs> this was all done in Distress Ink. This one was a fun page. Um, like I said, in on Instagram also you can find out um, or on the video what is used on the pages. This one is done in I believe gathered twigs and vintage photo and um, the green here is peeled paint. A little bit of blue down in the bottom, blue up here, like that. Left. This one was an interesting page because it really didn't have anything <laughs> to color on it so I just did a blue background with the um, itty bitty background stamp as little stamp marks on it. If you'll notice some of his pages have that blue background so I mimicked that. And here we have little Horatio. <laughs> He's a cutie pie. The ink house extravaganza can begin as they all enter. And of course there's Freddy Faxglove. He is the um, first to arrive and the last to leave the house. I had a lot of fun with him too. Uku the elephant. The double page spread that, oh, these are really fun to do. Of course, it's all inked in the background. Also, like I said, all of the videos are on my channel. And this is the blue background I was talking about. We colored in the little crab and we have the butterfly page. Just kind of to mimic this one. This is my little Clarence the Caterpillar. I believe I did him in ink tents and everything else was done in um, the uh, Distress Ink. Then we have our owl and our bunny. <laughs> and their little houses. Hats and hats and hats. I had a lot of fun with this one. <laughs> the walrus and the polar bear. 
And I love doing that one too. I love doing every page in this book. I'm going to miss this book. These are done um, with uh, the Posca pen and then some white acrylic paint to splatter. You'll find a lot of these little dots all over the, in this book. That's all the itty bitty background stamp. <laughs> this one has some splattering of the um, white acrylic also. This is Victorian velvet in the background. Charlie the cheetah and Huxley the hedgehog. I love him. <laughs> He's such a cutie. And then we have our William D. Wolf as he reclines and has his drinks with the sheep. <laughs> Geraldine and Herman. Mary Shelley. I just did Mary for the other day. She was my second to the last page. I really enjoyed her doing her too. Maestro. <laughs> yeah, he's done with the um, Distress ink with a little dabber here just to give him shading. And then the uh, stamp is used on the page and the keys. We have Reggie. The rocking ape. <laughs> and the little birdie here. With his sunglasses over here, he's got a little mask. <laughs> his little girlfriend inside the cage. Francisco. Use a fun little frog to do. And then the kitty cat. I love doing her. <laughs> it's adorable. We have the fox and the bunny rabbit. This is all done in distress ink. I had um, blocked off areas and inked them up with, um, hmm, I would I think this is Stormy Skies and some browns and a uh, scattered straw in here. A tiny little uh, pencil work just to brighten up some areas because I couldn't get ink in these blue spots. But I wanted the blue to go across the page so stuck it in here and there. The cute little pugs. <laughs> uh, I had fun with them too. Uh, cracked pistachio for his tie and his shirt. <laughs> then the ink house little snails. And of course all the little bugs are in all the pages so you can find those guys in there too. Then we have our little bee and Louie the puppy. The artist is returning so he's returning in a teacup being pulled by a butterfly over the house. So everybody must get up and leave. So panic ensues as the animals prepare to leave and the horses are running through the house. Nigel <laughs> and Bill the Badger. Bill is uh, taking his <coughs> souvenirs with him. <laughs> and then the last page that we did where Freddy is leaving the house. And if you recall, this is the same door frame right here. So I tried to match his clothes up and his sash and the way it would look if you were looking outside. I added a few little cracks and crevices in here. And this is all done with Distress Ink and Polychromos. And then the end of the book. And then the page where it tells you where your little bugs, um, these are the bugs you're supposed to find in the pages. I'm sorry, let's see if I can find a bug. I usually left them kind of, um, there's a bug right here, writing a note and I believe he's, this one with a long note to this little guy here. So, in other words, you can find out all the little residents if you want to. <laughs> and that is the end of the book. So, 
there is the flip through of my finished <laughs> book. This is the second book I've finished. I'm kind of proud of myself. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone. <laughs> Bye now.